Good day, ladies and gents, and let's get straight to the news. If you haven't watched my previous video, there was uh, an update which BSG pushed out, uh, rolled out, and I wasn't really happy too much about that. If you haven't seen it, feel free to check it out. But anyway, I said that there will be more changes, we will lose more items, and I was actually right. So today they came out with a new update. You can no longer buy Altons and Rich Helmets from Ragman. There were trades available on Ragman level 4, you were able to trade Alton and Rich, even though you can still uh, buy and trade out and face shield you can't do this to the helmet itself also on level 3 you were able to purchase gel armor for I think around 150k 170k and uh, there is no more gel available for the cash you can only barter it now so BG keep disabling top tier items um, I don't think this is the last uh, stage I think more items are gonna disappear and maybe we're gonna get some of the armors level 4 and level 5 craftable in our hideouts um, so yeah let's wait and see and more changes right now if you go to your hideout and if you have your workbench leveled up I don't and there are no new crafts on level one however thanks to some uh, people on Twitter we know that there are new crafts available thanks to logic he posted the updated crafts and right now you can get BP bullets for three eagles three kites uh, and it's gonna take you 15 hours, which I think is pretty long to craft 120 bullets, which is like what? Three, four, like th th that's one raid for me to be honest. 120 BP bullets, that's around one raid for me. Let me know in how many raids you will be able to spend 120 BP bullets. Um, and yeah, the same thing applies to AP bullets. Um, 15 hours, 15 minutes, increase from 8 hours, which is insane. Uh, you can craft for chats. 5 hours instead of 2 hours, PS12B no changes, and it's been reduced from 20 hours to 13 hours, even though you can craft only 60 of them, which I think is a very, very low amount, 60 bullets, 4H12, I mean, you can play, you can play with revolver, um, which is not too bad. Now the increase to 15 hours from 7 hours for AP bullets for the, the vector, 45, 0.45, uh, and filter. Filter, filter craft has been lowered to 4 hours. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, so the new crafts. You can actually craft M80 in the hideout now. And it's gonna take you 10 hours to craft 80 bullets. Um, I think the craft is a bit too expensive. It takes too many items. 80 TCP bullets. 5 kites to eagles for nuts. You can also craft 100 of SS-190 for P90 or 57. Craft also looks pretty expensive. However, it takes 9 hours, which is not too bad for 100 bullets. Um, and there is another new craft for AP bullets for MCX, uh, 12 hours, bunch of items. And there is another incredible craft, which is BT bullets for the new PP. 14 hours and so many items, bro. This is so expensive. I just, I just can't justify spending this much, like spending this much money on, on crafts. I don't know, man. And yeah, I really, I really expect that we're gonna move towards the direction where high tier items might spawn more often spawn or spawn i think you say spawn people always tell me that you don't say spawn you say spawn the items are gonna spawn in the raid more often such as altons high tier helmets and high tier bullets will be craftable you won't be able to buy them however if you keep crafting them non-stop in your hideout you should have a decent amount of them and i don't think the meta is gonna shift too much in terms of guns i think people are still gonna run uh, mdr 308 People still gonna run mutants, uh, AKMs, and RDs, but instead of using 762 BP, if they don't have a huge amount of them, people are gonna be using PS bullets. And since PS bullets were buffed in the beginning of this wipe, they still have a decent penetration. I think it's around 36 or 37, which will pen armor level 4. And since the recoil is not too big, you can just spray the face and uh, kill, kill the players um, in a pretty small amount of time. And same applies for 308. I think M80 is a pretty decent bullet. And you can also buy M62 on level 4 Peacekeeper. So even though, even if you play with those two, I think they, they're significant. Even at the end of the last wipe, I was primarily playing with M62 for a couple of reasons. If I snipe rogues on the lighthouse, I use M62 purely for the fact that it's a tracer bullet and I can see where the bullets go. So therefore I can uh, aim higher or lower if I miss my shots. And the pricing was so much better than M61. They were like three, three to two times cheaper than M61. I just didn't see a reason to, to play with M61. 
So yeah, get ready for the craftable economy. Uh, buy the items from the flea market to craft the bullets. I, w I, I hope we will be able to craft helmets and top tier armors, even though it's going to be expensive. Also, another thing which I want to mention, it's, it's a gamble, it's just a wild guess. I think some of the top tier items will be available from Lightkeeper. We still haven't fully accessed him. I don't think anybody finished all the quests to access the Lightkeeper and receive quests from him directly. And I wouldn't be surprised if you would be able to buy bullets, helmets, slicks, jukes from Lightkeeper in the raid. That would be an amazing change, to be honest. I would love to see that. But overall, those are all the news. I love to keep the update videos short. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about those updates down in the comments below. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.